to bring together all the writing activity in Sheffield into one place so that there was all this stuff happening but people don't always know about each other. I always felt like the poets had quite a strong community but I mostly write fiction and felt like that was lacking and we, over the years we've, you know, we've developed Sheffield novelists and Sheffield authors but it's like surely there's a way to bring all of this together. You're collecting haikus for all the different supermarkets, but I've got the, the Waitrose one. Charles, you've had your treat. Put that falafel down. <laughs> and it's things like being born and shakes me back to life. He sucked me dry. This tornado. The sky was rushing to early sunset. The clouds were tinged with apricot. I could see our house from here and the spread of Sheffield away from it with street lights already pricking out. I think it's a really cool idea because it gets all creatives coming together, um, writers. It's so interesting to hear people find their voice and speak and um, I'm looking forward to the singing as well. There's a man with a furnace inside him that is always lit and if you saw the way he wanted you, you'd throw your eyes his way like two Molotov cocktails. Yellow and red. He's standing there, naked, gloriously naked, with my blood on him. You are no gentleman, Mr. Grey, and you are in the deep gazpacho soup. My bedroom wall is a shrine to who I think I want to be. Topless boys wield guitars that wail a song I cannot sing along to, and there's no space left between the noise for thinking. Because we are passionate about what we're doing, and we want you to be passionate about it too, and we want you to be involved. So if you've got an idea, I don't want you to feel like the Writers' Hub is somebody else's thing. The Writers' Hub belongs to everybody in Sheffield, and if you have an idea for something you want to develop, come and talk to us about it, and we will do our very best.